How's it going guys? Welcome to another video. Right here we're going to do some front brakes and rotors for a Corolla 2011. And uh, first you want to jack it up. There's a bridge right there. Make sure you get it on the level surface. Uh, get your jack stands. There's uh, edges right there where you can put the jacks. The stands, I mean. And then uh, just bring it down. And you want to leave all three things holding it. And, uh, this one has a 21, so you take those off. They're pretty on, pretty tight. And as you can see right there, the rotor is pretty rusted. The brake is really low. Try and get the camera in there, but it's so low that you know you can't really see it. So you want to get yourself a 14 millimeter. Take those two off. Release the caliper. Uh, just hang it right there. And then there's 17 millimeters in the back. There's two of them. Take off the bracket. Take those off. And just everything slides off. Get the rotor. Yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and change these ones because they're the original ones from 2011. And yeah. And then you wanna uh, sand down the hub area so the new rotor can sit well, and you don't have that corrosion you know all lopsided and stuff like that uh, make sure you catch the liquid it's a brake cleaner it dissolves but you know then get some anti seize there you want to go around where the new rotor is going to sit there you go you want to open these up fresh then what you want to do is uh, admire them for a bit <laughs> and then, uh, I just put them this way so I could clean off the residue that glue or I don't know what they put but it's for the rotor not to get rusted and then you just let it dry off flip it around there you go I like to put a, a bolt there so stand still hold still clean the other side you get all that glue off these are the old ones they're pretty low this is what we're talking about right here it's double layered bro mm. makes me feel hungry every time you're here <laughs> anyways good stuff import direct it comes with the hardware kit look this bad <laughs> you, you might want to get that <laughs> changed so you uh, lubricate uh, where the brakes slide you want to make sure there's no friction set them back in nice and good get those 17's in there make sure you tie them up real nice Then you want to put that uh, the new hardware on it. It is directional, so make sure that these go on top. So you can see there that that top shimmers all the way on top, and then on the other side it's also on top. You want to slide them in there, and make sure it doesn't give you any trouble. And then you want to make sure that these guide pins right here are nice and loose. See how that is. Because if they're all stiff, they're gonna you're not gonna be able to retract. And you wanna get that caliper all the way in. One side you could do it without opening it, and then the other side you will have to open it. Show all the way down. That's why you get a easy installation. Get your 14 millimeter bolts. Make sure you uh, you guide them in by hand. Boy, that Milwaukee works so good. Before and after, look at that. Unmistakable, bro. Put the tire back on. Oh, bro, after this, I'm gonna join the Formula One. 
Like this. Alright, nice and good. Other side. Make sure you wear a mask, man. Look, look at all this does, bro. Well, make sure you protect yourself. Move that to the side. Get your uh, 14s. Move the two bolts. This one's. They were not as low, but as you can see, they were coming off the actual plate. Look at that. Big difference, man. Take out the bracket, 17s. Yo. Yeah. Pretty old. All rusted out. Pushing the clean it. We want to make sure that rotor sits nice and tight. You know, but clean this out so the new rotor can sit well. Make sure there's no rust debris on there. All right, then you want to just uh, smear some anti-seize on it so you can help this thing not get corroded again. and that's gonna help you out in the future pop this new one open and I mean that tape boy that tape is some quality tape man let's check these out bro like new shoes bro you know what I'm saying We're back. look at it for a bit hey. where have you been all my life gonna clean out the glue Make sure you don't skimp out on this part. Same thing on the other side. Make sure you put that bolt to hold it still, but yeah, you should get all that goo out. Make sure these things are nice and lubricated. I don't have to tell you guys that without lubrication it does not work. I mean you're just gonna have a bad time. Make sure you guide those 17 in by hand. You don't wanna strip the the thread on this thing. As you can see power tools, they come in clutch. Make sure you guide them in. Make sure you put that new hardware kit on it. Damn. This one open up the bleeder. So you get, um, get the air out from the other side and this side out. And then you still have to bleed them out, but this makes it much easier on the massive cylinder. Close that up. Oh, no mess. Make sure you get that piston all the way in for that EC installation. Again, put them in by hand. Can't stress that enough. Man, bro, this is. Much better, man. Formula One, here I come. Look at that. I don't even need a power tool, bro. This shit's going all the way in. Bam, bro. I don't even think that was fast forward. I think that was regular speed. Make sure the tops go back on real good. Get your jack. Now you got big feet. You already know what's. You know what I'm saying? Look at that, bro. Fucking. Feel like a chimpanzee or something. 
Anyways. Smooth, bro. You want something like this? Come holler at your boy. You know what I'm saying? You already know. Alrighty, guys. So, before I got my brakes fixed, um, it was honestly really hard to break. When I would step on the gas, like not the gas, the brake, I had to step all the way down. And now it's just a little bit, like literally just a little bit. I was really scared to break because sometimes it, it did like a little, like a pulse. I don't know how to explain it, but I didn't like that. And then you could hear the, you know? Um, but now it's it's honestly really good. Like it's, it's kind of scary because like I'm scared that I'm going to hit it too hard and then we're just gonna just get <laughs> just used gonna, to it, yeah. But yeah, it's it's definitely really good. Um, Eladio does a really great job. But honestly, like, dude, like he does a really great job. It's stable. Like he just fixed my whole brakes right now, and it's really nice. We're gonna take the whole family out, and I feel like I'm gonna be much safer this time because it was definitely scary. So we're about to stop watching. You're not gonna hear nothing. Just like that. Smooth. Yeah, it's smooth. Back then, it was it was giving me that little the little jerk. Like, yeah, and I didn't like it. Remember, you gotta break them in when you get new. Yeah, this stuff. definitely. Yeah. For sure. How how long do you think it should like take until? Break it? Nah, just the first two days or something like that. Mm -hmm. You know, just drive it normally. And it accelerates better too. For some That's reason. So weird. <laughs> yeah, cause sometimes it, it like takes a while to accelerate as well, and now it's it's pretty good. You remember how? Uh, we lubricated the, the, the little pins, uh -huh. the, the guy pins. Uh -huh. So sometimes they get stuck and they force you to like have the brake be activated, oh. even though you're not stepping on it. So now that they're nice and lubricated, mm -hmm. they'll glide in and out when you're yeah. not, you know. So it's more free. You know. Heading back to the shop now. This is how you guys know you close. Yep. The palm trees. Back here.